Okay, we're rolling. Tom Pace on the Talk of the Town. We're here at LSUS, the University Center Theater in Shreveport, Louisiana. Here it is. It's Monday, June the 27th. It's 2011. And we're here with Congressman John Fleming from the 4th Congressional District. And he's here uh, actually having a hearing, I understand, on an issue that's plaguing a lot of the waterways across the uh, state and even the nation, Giant Salvinia. What about that? Well, giant Sylvania is a giant problem in this area, and it's becoming a bigger problem across the country. And we're having what's called a field hearing. I'm chairman of uh, a subcommittee in natural resources that uh, has jurisdiction over this issue, invasive species and so forth. And so we're actually transplanting a field uh, or a hearing that we would have in Washington right here in the district where we can get to where the problem is, we can tour it, we can have all the local experts who've dealt with it, and we're going to be talking about what a tough problem it is, how it's affecting the environment, how it's affecting recreation and boating, fishing, and uh, what are the options in how to treat it and hopefully uh, mitigate it, if not get rid of it altogether. And again, the congressman here at the University Center Theater about to hold this uh, on, if, if I could uh, paraphrase, an on-the-road uh, committee hearing, subcommittee hearing. Yes, indeed. And uh, again, that's part of the function of natural resources is to get out into the field and to see the problems as they happen. We had a field hearing, for instance, down in Homa, Louisiana, several months ago on the offshore drilling problem. So this is what we do. Now, let's uh, come straight around full circle. Uh, you're on the uh, Armed Services Subcommittee, I understand. Is that right? Uh, Armed Services Committee, yes. Committee. Mm -hmm. and, and the issue is, uh, for the Armed Services Committee, a lot of you were the uh, elite that got to view Osama bin Laden's photos of his death or him yes. being dead. First off, did you, and second off, uh, it's been reported you saw as a doctor that, that you weren't at all uh, you didn't see evidence that he was as ill as he thought, as everybody thought. Well, as you know, he had been rumored to have a kidney failure. He'd been living in a cave and all of this. Uh, what I saw was a body of a very robust man who uh, did not appear to be chronically ill in any respect. So I, I'm convinced that he would have lived for many years had we not taken him out. The other thing, uh, you saw the wounds. You saw the kill shots, I guess. Uh, are you convinced that was bin Laden? Yes, uh, the photographs um, were done at certain angles, and they were compared to pre-mortem photographs, and uh, angles, uh, distances, uh, facial recognition characteristics were done for comparisons, and so it was pretty obvious that it was him, and of course they did DNA to confirm. So uh, now al-Qaeda has been uh, wounded at best, uh, having lost their leader, and I think they've <laughs> had their second-in-command, a couple of them, yeah. has been taken out. What about the terrorist threat for al-Qaeda? Is it still uh, up there, pardon me, number one with a bullet or what? Well, I think it's uh, very definitely still alive. It's still uh, extant. Uh, Al-Qaeda is a, is a franchise kind of organization. Uh, which means that they leave it to people in local venues to come up with their own way of uh, committing um, uh, acts of terror. And Fort Hood is a good example of that. Lone wolves out there. Uh, we caught one just the other day attempting. So uh, it's still a very real threat. Uh, but the more we dig into their leadership, uh, the more we disarm them, uh, the less competency they have, and hopefully the less effective they're going to be. And Congressman John Fleming here with us. We're uh, we're talking with him about the terrorist threat and also uh, being a, out of the Fourth Congressional District on the Armed Services Committee. I understand you're going talk about on the road. You're going across the water to Afghanistan very soon. Yes, uh, I'm going to be leading a CODEL to Afghanistan. Uh, we'll be there about a week, leading other members of Congress there. And we're going to visit various sites and get a real good feel, a texture, uh, the c full context, if you will, of where we are in that conflict. I'm disappointed that I'm hearing that the field commanders, such as General Petraeus, uh, did not want to downsize our forces there, and yet the president chose to do that. 
I think it was a political decision rather than a military one, and I'm disappointed about that. Uh, as he talked about CODEL, that's congressional delegation. Uh, they, they talk about all this uh, political speak up there in Washington. But uh, Obama has said he's going to withdraw these uh, thousands of troops by September of 2012. Now, here's the question. Are we tipping our hand to them, uh, and uh, is it going to give them an advantage, the terrorists? Well, absolutely. Uh, would anyone have expected General Eisenhower uh, to transmit to the world that he was going to draw down forces uh, when, of course, uh, Nazi Germany was still not uh, invaded and conquered? Uh, it, it makes no sense at all. You never tell your enemy when you're going to end the fight. And so I think it's a I think it's a very bad strategic decision, and it could, in the end, show a, a waste of lives that have already been lost there. Final question. Uh, the, the budget is, is number one uh, on Capitol Hill right now. Do we continue this out-of-control spending, as many people have categorized it, or, or what, is your, uh, what is your play, your game, game plan? Well, the, the debate on this is on the debt ceiling increase, which uh, we're really down to the 11th hour on something's got to be done on that and uh, Democrats insist on raising taxes and spending more and we on the other hand say we've got to cut and not raise taxes um, look Tom if uh, if spending were going to get us out of this terrible economy it would have already happened we have spent well over a trillion dollars uh, and wasted fitted away uh, lots of money on it without any any results to show and it's the spending that's got us into this difficult economy and debt of over $14 trillion. So why in the world would we continue to do the same thing over again expecting a different result? What is the uh, drop dead deadline? Well, theoretically it's August 2nd, but to be honest with you, uh, that could be an artificial deadline. Uh, remember that we've got cash flow that would take care of the debt service, which would keep us out of default. Uh, that would maintain basic services, and yeah, we would have to sharply cut uh, many government uh, expenditures, but heck, isn't that really what we should be doing right now? There you heard it from the Congressman, Congressman John Fleming, here at the University Center Theater at LSUS in Shreveport, Louisiana, as he's about to uh, conduct a subcommittee hearing on Giant Salvinia. Tom Pace with the Talk of the Town.